Greetings from N6TLU. After numerous requests, I'm going to show you guys how to put in a simple and effective push-to-talk system in your Johnson Viking 2. I've been running this one for years, and I've put it in many Viking 2s in the past. So there it is. So next, I'll show you the schematic, and I'll show you how to wire this thing up in your Johnson Viking 2. Here we go. So here it is, my pride and joy, the 57 Chevy of Johnson transmitters, the Johnson Viking 2. Now this one's really nice. I've got a plate switch here where I can kick her on and off. Or I can take the old microphonium and do the same thing. Alright, so at this point in the video, let me cut over to the schematic so you can review what I did. As you can see, this is a standalone. 12 volt DC power supply. It's only rated at about 300 milliamps. All you need is enough to pull in the contacts of that 12 volt double pole, double thermal relay. And obviously the reason I use that relay is one half turns on your plate transformer and the other half is for your rear socket to toggle your TR relay. Now what's really nice about this system is if you look at the diagram you'll see that the positive goes direct to the relay coil. Then through your microphone, you're grounding the negative side of the relay, which of course energizes it, and you're transmitting. So here's the 12 volt Stancor power transformer. This is a P8391. I'm on a terminal board here. You see the bridge rectifier, filter cap, 10 ohm resistor here, which is current limiting to the coil of the relay. Here's a positive lead of my 12 volt supply. And I routed that over here along the wire harness. And that goes and feeds the coil of the push to talk relay. The contacts of that relay are in parallel with switch two, your plate switch on the front of the transmitter. The negative side of that relay, I used a piece of coax to reduce noise and that's going to the new mic jack which is hidden up here. So here's kind of the bummer of doing this update. To mount the mic jack on the front panel you have to open up this hole on the chassis to clear that nut. You can't put these mic jacks in and have them go between the front panel and the inside of this chassis because there's about a quarter inch gap. So unfortunately you gotta pull the face to do this people. Okay, the transmitter is fired up, plate switches off, I'm going to turn it on. So as you can see we have plate voltage. Okay, I'm going to flip that off. Then I can take my microphonium and do the same thing. So what's really nice about this is you don't have to have flip some magic switch. You can either do it manually or automatically. Okay, so the other advantage to having the double pull, double throw relay in parallel with the plate switch is the fact that you can operate the transmitter the way it was originally intended, flipping the switch, or now you can grab your mic and that operation is in parallel with the plate switch. So it's seamless operation. So I know there's people that say, well, I don't want the additional expense of the additional 12 volt power transformer in this radio. And you're right, that's probably $10, $12 for that component alone. However, there's advantages to this system. Number one, if you say, well, I'm just gonna use the six volt AC line and use a six volt AC coil relay to do my push to talk. You do that and it's gonna be disaster. You're gonna have hum in your audio like you won't believe because that six volt AC is gonna go up your microphone line into your microphone and guess what? Gets on your audio. Then there's guys that say, well, I'd rather use a voltage doubler circuit. I'll take the six volt AC and make it to DC and use that to do my switching. Well, that's okay. However, the six volt filament line in the Johnson, one half of that is grounded to chassis. So that means you're gonna to have to take the 12 volt positive that you are generating it's going to have to loop through your microphone and back to drive the relay coil. 
And that's okay too, but you got to remember, if that line shorts, it's going to pull every ounce of current that it can from your filament transformer, and you're going to have a forest fire. So I'd recommend, if you want to use the voltage doubler, that's okay. It's clean DC, but put a fuse in it, like half amp fuse, okay? And that way, if something goes wrong, that'll pop before it melts things down. So on that note, if you review my schematic, you'll see I have a 10 ohm, 1 watt resistor in series with a positive lead of the power supply going to that relay coil. I did that in case you have a catastrophic event. The worst case, it'll smoke the resistor. So there you have it. Provided you the schematic, showed you how it goes into the radio. And of course, as you can see, the hardest part is you gotta pull that panel if you're gonna install that four pin mic jack correctly. I've seen guys do it incorrectly and it's a mess. Take the time, do it right. Hope you liked the video.